on the grind, yeah. I do this all the time. Yeah. Yo, wake up in the morning, go get a state of mind. Yeah. I done feel so many times, but they gotta keep trying. I ain't giving up, go put it all on the line, yo. Yeah. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to update you on this past weekend. I decided to take the advice of my CEO and give my mind and body a rest. So many of you guys can relate, but literally seven days a week, I'm constantly thinking about my van, thinking about the business, trying to build it, trying to build more clients, trying to get more work connections. It's a constant hustle. It's seven days a week. It never stops. So my CEO reminded me that he is in charge to trust him and I need to rest. Rest my mind. Get your mind off the business. Get your mind off the van and enjoy life. So I did that. I did that on Friday. I had every intention of working on Friday. I decided to take his advice. Kids were in school. Me and the wife jumped on the bikes and rolled through the neighborhood. And I really got to kind of reboot my brain. So I have a new mindset and I'm really I'm, I'm really just sharing this with you because I think that's a great piece of advice, man. Don't don't overwhelm your brain with the business. When you take a day off, take a complete day off. That means no thinking about it, no worrying about the next day, no worrying about your income, you know, and God as my CEO. He's in control, and I trust him completely. So that's what I did this weekend. I really enjoyed it, my time with the wife, and I got to renew my mind. I rested Friday and Saturday. All right, what's going on, y'all? Today is Monday, September 25th. And uh, I actually, I don't have a lot of time to work today. I don't have anything scheduled, um, but I've been doing so much. Uh, I told you guys that I wanted to apply for another carrier company. Well, I did, so I'm just waiting on uh, a call back from them. And then um, yesterday, Sunday, I went and got a piece of equipment that I feel that I need. It's gonna help me, uh, and I highly recommend it. And I'm about to show it to you in just a second. So um, the other thing is my investment. So I have I have like three different investment ideas. It's basically to generate more uh, income, passive income. Um, and I finally narrowed it down to one and I'm about to go for it. In fact, I might even purchase uh, what I need. I might start the purchase today. So I'm really excited about it. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little nervous but I'm confident that it's gonna work. And again, my CEO is gonna run this business as well. So um, I let him guide me to what I should do and I'm starting really small. So I will share all my investment ideas with you. I just don't wanna share it yet. Uh, I'm gonna get this product and uh, I'm gonna, more than likely, I may have to start another LLC. I told you guys that I have $3,000 saved up so uh, 300, another $300 on another LLC, and, and then I gotta purchase the equipment. So um, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little nervous, but I'm ready to do it, and I feel that, um, you know, it's, you gotta take chances. Like that's, that's something I'm, I've been learning. I've kinda heard that, but now that I'm actually doing it, I realize it's true. Like there's nothing that is just super easy. There's nothing that you could just do it and it just automatically works. You have to plan it in your head, kind of visualize yourself doing it, see if it works, do your research. Like, I can't stress that enough. I did a ton of research on this particular idea and I feel very confident about it. Uh, I'm not gonna say, I'm not saying I'm gonna make, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars, but I feel that it is gonna generate some income and it's gonna work for me and, um, that's kind of like step one. Once you like believe it in your mind, then you gotta do it. And that's the hardest part because you know, you're, you're putting a lot of money into it, but you have to look at what's the reward, you know, what's the benefit, what can happen if it works. So uh, I'm willing to take a shot. So I'm really doing this to motivate you guys and show you that, 
you know there's other ways to make money like don't just focus on this this vehicle right here like you're a full-time entrepreneur now so make money however you can so uh anyways let me show you this product that i just purchased all right so uh, i went online to buy this piece of equipment and i was like you know what i don't really like buying stuff online like i want to test it out and uh i found this same product in a store and it's a store i never heard of so the store i went to is called uh, northern tool and equipment and uh it's very much like um harbor freight um i've never heard of that store before in my life didn't know it was e even in my city uh there's actually i think there's a couple of them uh so i decided to go there uh, if you're in san antonio it's off the uh, 410 uh just north of the 10 highway 10 and um i decided to go there early uh sunday morning around 9 30 and they had the product and um I'm excited man I like it so anyway let me just show it to you so it fits perfect in my van this is it right here what is that that is a ramp y'all so I was thinking about getting a ramp installed in the back uh, I think I showed you guys the one I was looking at very versatile um, but I feel like it's just too much weight too much space um, and I wanted something portable, something that I could take out and use it, um, you know, at a customer's house. They got like, you know, three or four steps that I got to go up to the front door. You can use it. Uh, you can use it on a curb. Um, and it's portable and light. And it doesn't take a lot of space. So this one is about um, six feet. Um, I recommend getting a longer one if you do get one. Um, because obviously the longer it is, the, the better angle you're gonna have. So this one's a little steep, but um, it's not too steep where I can't, you know, load stuff by myself. So that's the whole reason I got it. I wanna be able to load a washer, a dryer, stuff like that with my dolly by myself. Um, and uh, let me just show you how it works. Oh, this is a, this is a rubber handle. I actually tore it. <laughs> I'm about to take it off. Um, that was just me being uh, clumsy. But um, it's very light. It probably weighs about, uh, so let me just show you. You see how it fits. So it fits right between the wheel well and my uh, back seat. Um, and I just ran a bungee around it to hold it in place. But uh, I didn't want one too long because obviously I want to keep as much space as I can. So this one, as you can see, if I got it much longer, it's going to either have to be at an angle out here or have to put it on top of the wheel well. So I think it's perfect. It fits perfect. And uh, let me get it out real quick. All right, y'all. So as you can see, it's very light. Uh, it probably weighs about, uh, I'm going to say about 60 pounds. It's about 60 pounds. Uh, men, women, everybody, it's easy to carry. And uh, let me show you how it sets up. Uh, So like I said, it's about six feet, six feet tall, about the same height as me, a little bit shorter. And uh, does have these uh, safety chains. So you can use it as a single ramp, one side, or it opens up to a double ramp like this. All right, so. Back this up a little bit. All right, so let me show you real quick. So as you can see, the ramp is not super long, but uh, it's long enough. It's, 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 it's a bit of an angle. Let me show you the angle. See, it's a pretty hard angle. Uh, so obviously a longer one would be a better angle, but uh, like I said, I wanted to keep the, the space in my van. So. I put it uh, right here on the top ledge and uh, it does have these safety chains and what I do, I just hook it through the D-ring and I run it all the way across and just hook it right in, in there. So that's one side. 
And the same thing with this other side. So just run it through the D-ring, pull it nice and tight, and then uh, hook it right in there. All right. See, they go a little tighter on this one. All right there. All right, so that's your safety chain. That's just gonna extra support, make sure it doesn't slide off or anything like that. All right, so we ready to go. All right. Now, let me show you my dolly. All right, so just imagining I got a washer or something connected to it, got the ratchet strap around it or whatever. I'm gonna pull it in here by myself. So as you can see, plenty of room for the dolly. See how wide it is. Plenty of room. And let me show you what it looks like, Logan. So I'm pulling something up at a pretty steep angle. So you pull it up just like this. So you could have someone kind of help you pull it up, but the whole point is that I do this by myself. So I don't know if I would go backwards or forwards. I'm thinking because of the angle, I would go forward like this. Just use my arm strength and my leg strength and push it in. All right, so that's the product. Um, I won't know how good it works until I actually do it, but um, I'm excited about it. I like it. And like I said, I could use it. Uh, there's going to be that house with three or four steps. Great tool to use. Uh, going up a curb, whatever. So, uh, But I do recommend, especially for females, get a longer one. Mine is six feet. I would get at least nine feet, maybe a little longer, somewhere around there. Um, because that angle... You know, the tougher the angle, the harder it's going to be to pull it up. So, uh, but I'll try it out and I'll see. I, I can return it if I don't like it, but I'm going to try it out. We'll see how it works. Two hours later. All right, y'all. I am back home. Uh, I was out there for about two hours. It was straight up trash today. Nothing coming out at all. All the apps were dead. So you do have days like that. Um, that's why you got to have a plan B. You guys already know my plan B, but um yeah man it was, it was it was bad today it was nothing so the order the type of orders that was coming out was like this one i mean 18 dollars to pick up a treadmill i'm not doing that um and then uh there was this one was on dolly 28 dollars to move this it's a labor only job to move a sauna i don't know how much that thing weighs um but yeah i mean this is the type of orders that were coming out um there was one dispatch order but it was just um it wasn't worth it it's paying it was paying 101 dollars, but um the pickup was 40 miles from where i was at so i had to drive 40 miles and then another 55 miles um to the delivery and then deadhead back so just it was just one of those days it happens but um you know one thing i want to say uh i was actually talking to another independent contractor today that's in my area and uh they are hurting right now like because it's kind of slow and it seems like when all when one app is dead all the apps are dead because i know they all have pretty much the same customers so uh, it's either going to be really busy or really slow and uh, they're kind of hurting right now. And I, I hear that a lot from a lot of the uh, other independent contractors I run into. Um, and they're just trying to figure out a way to stay busy. So uh, that's, that's, that's kind of leading into why, how I want to end this video because uh, one of my subscribers asked a really good question about um, how do I manage all of the gig apps as far as like the earnings and everything. Um, so I'm going to address that in one second, but I just want to show you guys. Um, so my last video that I posted, um, this one, I took a job that uh, a lot of you guys were like, man, why would you take that? $60, three flight of stairs, all that stuff. 
So I'm gonna try to explain this as quickly, as easily as possible. So my thought process, the way I think about different orders may not be the same as everyone else. So I do not like to do free labor. Um, I understand the game. I know a lot of customers work the system. They're, they're not gonna be honest about everything. I already know all that, I get it. So one thing I know about Dolly is they have to beat the competition. So an actual moving company probably wouldn't have did that for less than like two or three hundred dollars. Um, that's the, the the moving rate. So Dolly is in existence because they give the customer that option, which it seems like like free labor. But basically, it's like, hey, I'm not gonna hire a professional moving company. I'm gonna go with this independent contractor that's gonna load it in his personal vehicle and take it. So you kind of take a risk of damage and all that stuff. He might. I've seen people on Dolly, they ain't got no blankets, no tape, nothing. So that's kind of the risk you take. So the pay, I already know it's not gonna, you're never gonna make what you deserve on Dolly. That's just how it is. So I just wanna explain that order that I did just so you get the full picture. So I did it with my wife as a team. If, if it wasn't my wife, another team member, I wouldn't have did it because I have to split that money. So we have one account, that money goes in the same account. It's our money. So it was a $60 order, and as you can see, the original, um, the original order, it said uh, one, uh, one dining table, a small one with four to six seats, one bookshelf medium, four small boxes, and two medium boxes. So of course, I already knew when I got there, it was gonna be probably more than what is listed. That happens all the time. So I'm like, okay, for $60, uh, even though it's three flight of stairs, I don't like stairs, but it's going down. It's going down, so I'm like, okay, if it's going down, uh, it, it shouldn't be that bad. And yes, you do have to walk up the stairs, but um, my, the way I, I see it, a lot of people don't see it like this, but this is how I see it is, I need to stay in shape. I need some way to, to stay in shape. Because they're coming down and not going up, I'm figuring, you know, okay, it shouldn't be too bad. I'll do it for $60. I think it's worth it. A lot of people will pay a membership at a fitness center to work out. Well, I'm getting paid to work out. That's the way I see it. So if you actually look at the photo, this is a photo I took of the items. Um, if you actually look at it, it's, it's not bad at all. Like there's nothing really extremely heavy. Um, I think this order, is worth $60 like uh, and I'm looking at it through the customer because if I was the customer that's what I'd want to pay too I, I wouldn't want to pay $150 or something like that so just so you know the backstory is this apartment was empty so the customer had already moved all the heavy stuff the sofa the refrigerator you know all the heavy stuff the beds was gone this was all that was left so she already paid you know four or five hundred dollars for a moving company to move all that stuff so this is just what's left. So I think she made the right decision by using Dolly, because that's what I would do. And you're gonna pay a lot less to move this stuff. So um, that bookshelf was like 20 pounds. I, I literally could have carried it down myself. My wife helped me with that. And then uh, there's like a little bench that goes to the, the dining table. The dining table was about 40 pounds. We carried that down and that bench. Everything else, um, the chairs we carried individually and then those boxes the u-haul boxes the small ones those they had like books in them i put those on my dolly like three stacked them three high or four high and just rolled them down the stairs with my dolly um, and then as you can see there's uh cardboard boxes that's nothing in it there's empty cardboard boxes uh there's bed rail a bed rail for like a queen size bed and that's pretty much it like that's all that's in there. It's not a lot of stuff. And then outside, those big boxes are empty. They're empty boxes, nothing in it. So we literally, all actually all these boxes are empty. Even the TV box, there's no TV in it. All empty boxes. We end up, my wife threw them down from the third floor down to the floor and I just caught them. So the job itself was not hard. It was very easy. Definitely, I, I honestly believe it's about a $60 job. So I think, yeah, you should be paid more, mainly because of the stairs, but uh, I don't mind the stairs, only because it was going down, 
and it's a workout. And you know, my wife agreed to do it. Uh, I could have did an adjustment, but I personally, I like the lady. Uh, I think, you know, I have to look at things from the customer's perspective as well. And I feel like, you know, by me doing that job, not only uh, is it a workout, which is great, um, but I'm building another client, you know. Uh, this customer was able to, you know, I was able to build kind of a relationship with this customer. Uh, it was a sister and uh, very nice lady. And, you know, in my ultimate goal, give her my business card. Hopefully she uses me uh, for stuff like that. So obviously I'm not gonna charge like Dolly. Uh, and I kind of explained it to her how it works, but like I said, I don't blame her. Like I, I would have did the same thing. And then the third thing is if I turn that down because you know I don't want to do it, I'm it's it's under 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 I'm getting underpaid, I'm cheating myself, all that. If that's how you feel, that's cool because I could turn it down, but the reality is somebody's gonna do it. And everyone doesn't look at the value of the job the same. So I feel it was worth it. Um even though, yeah, it should have been paid more, mainly because of the stairs. If it was the first floor, I wouldn't say anything about it, but three flight of stairs, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking $25 per flight. So we at, you know, $75 already, and that's not even counting the items I'm moving. So that's what, how I come up with my number. But, um, you know, somebody will look at that order, somebody that used to work at McDonald's making $12 an hour, and they driving their grandpa's old, you know, Chevy, Astro van or driving a uh, old, um, you know, their grandpa's old cargo van, and they jumped on these apps. And a sixty that job for sixty dollars is like a hundred and fifty, hundred and sixty dollars to them. You know what I'm saying? So everybody doesn't look at uh, the work the same. You know, I don't mind manual labor. It does not bother me. Uh, I do feel it. It needs to be worth it. But like I said, I think that job was worth it. It was not hard at all. I showed you the photo. It's, it was nothing like super heavy or ridiculous. So I mean, the majority of it was empty boxes. So um, I ended up getting $110. And I feel like, again, that's my CEO at work. You know, I felt underpaid. I felt like it should have been more, but I was still rewarded. Like that, It just happens like that. Some people think $110 wasn't enough. $110 was definitely enough for that job. So... Uh, anyway, I just want to kind of share my, uh, the way I look at uh, jobs like that. Uh, I'm not going to turn all of them down. There's some that I, I absolutely will not do. Like this, like the one I just showed you, the $28 one, I, I would not touch that. There's no way I'm going to do that. Uh, I think $80 minimum is like to even consider doing that. Somebody's going to do that job. That's just the reality of it. So it's not much you could do. Um, about that like that's just that's how Dolly operates so if a moving company was doing that and bringing the market down then absolutely that's 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 not good for everyone but uh, Dolly is going to charge low for everything so anyways uh, enough on that um, just to answer the question of a subscriber how do I track all my earnings so pretty much all of the apps um, I just showed you an example of GoShare. So these are all some of my earnings from GoShare. You can go back to the history and see all your your earnings. Um, all of the apps track it. Dispatch, same thing. It shows you all your orders, how much you made, the date, time, all that stuff. And then also, uh, yeah, I even showed you freight. So uh, freight pays through branch and you can see all your payouts. So, but the way I track mine is actually through Gridwise. So uh, Gridwise, uh, it tracks your mileage and you also can add your earnings and expenses. Um, so as you can see, um, it tracks the hours you work. Uh, it'll show your, your, your gross and net income, uh, your deductions for your mileage and your trips. Um, and it does it Monday through Sunday. So it starts on Monday. So today is a big donut for me, but uh, it's Monday through Sunday. And then uh, you can go back to any date that you want. So uh, that's how I track my earnings. But I also have um, 
two boards. So I have actually three boards in my office. So I have one behind my desk. That's, I use that to pay my bills. Not that you guys need a lesson on that, but I keep track of all my bills. Everything that I need to pay each month, um, I use that board for that. And then the two boards in front of my desk is for everything that I pay for, uh, with like my uh, monthly payment, loan payments on my van, my insurance, um, everything that I pay business-wise, like my BLC3, my UCR payments, my registered agent, um, even repairs, all that stuff is on that board. And then I track manually on my board, I track my, my income as well as my expenses. So um, that's just something I do. And then last but not least, I have uh, an Excel spreadsheet on my computer. And that's actually, uh, I, didn't, I wasn't doing that before. I had to do that because my accountant wanted me to uh, list all of my business startup costs and my business expenses. So every expense that I have business related, I had to put it on an Excel sheet. So I'm not gonna show you that sheet because it's a lot of personal info on there, but um, by having this accountant, it's gonna help me get more organized and uh, really track these earnings. I did link my business debit card to it, to the website, so that every time I swipe my business debit card for business purchases, like that ramp that I got, it automatically tracks it. So I just have to go in and put what it's for. Uh, is it an income, is it an expense, is it, you know, whatever category, I add that in there. So, um, but other than that, the transaction is captured. So anyways, um, I just wanted to address that. That's a great question, um, but definitely, uh, I like GridWise, but I think doing it manually, uh, whether a log book or on your computer is a great backup because you never know these these apps you know they could crash or you know might lose some information it's always best to keep it yourself so anyways just to end this video um i have signed up for well i applied for two more carrier companies there's supposed to be one more it's actually two um so i'm waiting to hear back from them hopefully i do Sorry for the slow day, but it happens. This is reality. I want to keep it real with y'all. I want to show you the good and the bad. This is a bad day, but it's still a great day for me. So, um, you know, I'm just happy to be doing what I'm doing. Um, and you, you just, like I said, you got to hustle. You got to hustle. You got to constantly figure out ways to make money, keep money flowing in. That's the name of the game. So um, the last thing I wanted to say is I am very close to uh, adding my first driver uh, to use my authority. I'm really picky about it because you know that anything they do, um, it can affect my my authority, my record. Um, so I want to make sure they're a good driver. I have to add them to my insurance, um, to my commercial insurance. It's a win-win because you know this person doesn't have to get their own authority. They don't have to deal with the insurance. Uh, they just got to book loads and go. So we'll see how it works out. Uh, that's that's in the process. Hopefully I can get that going as well. Uh, that probably won't start till next month, but um, I'm just kind of learning what I need to do to protect myself. And then, um, you know, like I said, I, I want to get this driver on the road. I want them to make some money. And, you know, I'm not going to take a ton of money from them. Obviously I need to make a profit. But um, I'm gonna share everything with you, how it works, and if it's uh, worth it, and all that, all that good stuff. Anyways, um, that's it for today, man. I will catch y'all on the next one.